hi guys in this video we are going to solve this problem counting divisors so we are given n integers and for each integer we have to tell number of its divisors and total 10 power 5 numbers can be there and uh, value of x can be up to about 10 to power 6 which is like maximum number we can have in this test case okay so let's see how we can solve this problem so say we have a number 18 okay so for this we have to uh, count number of its divisors so one approach will be to just generate uh, those divisors and then count them okay and uh, this uh, thing we can do in root of 18 time okay so we can start from 1 and go up to root 18 less than root 18 or less than equal to and uh, then we can calculate all of its divisors so let's see so 1 will divide 18 so if we divide by 1 so we will get in so then 18 will also divide 18 now 2 divides 18 so that means 9 also divides 18 because if we divide 18 by 2 then we get 9 okay so if you do same thing with 3 then we will get 6 okay so like this we can do and uh, 4 uh, doesn't divide 18 so these are our factors so these we can say like 2 into 3 and they will become 6 and in case this number is a proper square then this uh, 1 we can decrease because this will be duplicate so to say uh, we were doing this same thing for a 9 so then we will have this 3 3 so we can do minus 1 in this total and then we can get number of devices total okay so but uh, if you see here we are uh, doing root of uh, value time operations okay so in in our case value can be up to 10 to power value can be up to 10 to power 6 so root of 10 to power 6 like 10 to power 3 and n can be up to power 10 to power 5 so total 10 to power 8 operations can be there okay so this will uh, pass the test case but uh, we can do better so i am going to use that better approach so we are going to use sieve for this okay so the way it will work is like we are having numbers here 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, these are basically indices okay and here uh, we will be storing number of divisors for each number so initially all of them will be zero okay and uh, now what we are going to do is like we are going to do uh, things in reverse way so uh, so there what we are doing for each number we were calculating its uh, divisors but in this case what we will do for each number we will see how many numbers it is able to divide and uh, those numbers we will update so say this one so this one divides one so for this we can update it this one will also divide two so this we can update so three four five six seven eight nine this we can update now we will come to two so now two divides two so we will update it like two its number of divisors are two then two will uh, update this four as well two then it will update this six as well and eight and then this three so this three also uh, updates itself so it will become two so like number of devices for three will be two now three also divides six so it will also update this in increment by one so three now it will update this nine as well so it will become two similarly we can do this thing for four five six seven eight nine and then we will uh, get our uh, this array and then we can have uh, just a lookup by index and we can tell how many are uh, divisors for a number given number okay so i hope it was clear and now we can write code for this okay so we are given n numbers so i will just take input for those okay and for each number this is our input part okay now we can just do some pre-processing so in our case max value will be 
10 to power 6 so we can just say max value 1 e6 plus 1 then i can just make an counter array in which we will store number of divisors so initially all of them will be 0 so i can just initialize with 0 then i will start counting our divisors so we will say for i equal to 1 to max value i plus plus then this i will update all the numbers which it is it is able to divide so we will start with this i only then till we are less than max value and then we will keep on incrementing with i okay. and this we can simply do like this counter j plus plus okay and uh, once this is done we can just have a look up here and we can say counter and x okay now let's see whether this is working or not Okay, 5 to 6 okay so yes this is correct okay now let's submit this and see yes this is accepted so if you have any doubt then you can ask in comment section and in next video we are going to solve this problem count common divisors